Oh, this is awesome. I'm here in Pandan Antiki, and this is a crab trap, a local crab trap made out of bamboo. I'm going to learn how to make these today. I'm going to go and catch some crabs and hopefully make some guinea to ang later. But first things first, I just learned my first ever kinaraya word. So check this out. This is biscotto ilongo style, and I'm going to su su. <laughs> you got to say it hard. Su su. <laughs> we used to dip, but don't ever say su su. <laughs> Because if you say, okay, they're already cool, yes, already, yes, already. If you say su su, it means breast, so su su, su su. Kain. Come on, Asia. Mmm. All right. That's Mike, he's going to teach me how to do crab traps. All right. Su su, su su. That's right. All right, into the swamp. Woo! It'll get deeper every minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're heading into the side of the river here. It's like a swamp, but we're searching for holes that we're gonna plant these crab traps on. Oh, when somebody starts talking about snakes and Komodo dragons and stuff, I sit there and like, oh, get me out of this thing. Monitor starts. Yeah, monitor starts. Don't worry, they're really aggressive. <laughs> hey, this is cool. So these bamboo traps that they built, uh, Ilongo style, or Kinaraya style, I should say, Kinaraya style, if you look at them, they're really, really simple. It's just a piece of wood that's made like a bug's eye, like a paddle, and then another small piece of wood, and they're put in two holes in this piece of bamboo, and all that happens is a crab will walk up the hole, trigger this bit, and if you watch, it gets stuck in. So the bug's eye actually traps the crab inside, boom, you got a crab. But check this out. What happens is crabs build these holes in the swamp and wait for the tide to come in so they can come out and feast and eat. And if you look, you just scrape off the top, boof, and you'll see these holes. So that's how you know that there might be a crab here. And the best part, if you check the hole, that's Kuya Mike. Actually, I shouldn't call him Kuya because he's 26. He's when you're younger than me. <laughs> dong, dong. <laughs> but if you check the hole, you see that's really, really kind of dirty mud. That means it's fresh and there's probably a crab in there. So we're gonna go set one of these onto a hole. We're actually gonna do it here. Ah, so just clean it down. Take a portion of it. And that's it. That's already a set trap. So Kuya, Kuya, 26 year old Kuya, <laughs> my younger Kuya, he's gonna set the trap in here uh, and you can see how it's done. This is actually created by his family. Uh, so one of his relatives is very Ilongo style, a Kinaraya style uh, crab trapping. So go ahead, man. I don't know how to do this, so. <laughs> ah, so you just literally stick it on the hole. So he's gonna take it, he's literally just gonna stick it over top of the hole. And he just takes a bunch of mud knock, it in. and just knock it in. So whenever the time comes, he just sticks in. And that's it. That's it. It's so simple. So all he's going to do is stick it in, stick some mud on to keep it together, and then we wait for the tide to come up. And hopefully we've got crabs. Hopefully they can make Guinness Ang. Ilongo style Guinness Ang. This is awesome. Simple, simple trapping. But check it out. We've actually caught one. Let's see. Mike's going to get it. Here we go. Usong, Usong. What? <laughs> well, look at that thing. What the heck? It looks like a lobster. Yeah. What? Alien. Can I hold it? It's not yeah. gonna attack me. Just don't touch the pincers. Well, look at it. What? This like a scorpion. L literally, look at that. It's like a scorpion crab. Usong, Usong. Uson. What the heck? Filipino lobster, Ilongo style lobster. Right That's on. what it is, man. Look at this. Wow. Absolutely amazing. So he was saying these are really Isog, these crabs. They're really, really brave. That means brave in Basaya. And they just come out no matter what. So, holy smokes. I did not expect that, man. Watch out. Yeah, Tama. What the heck? Dude, that's amazing. All right, let's go make some Gina Taang. <laughs> let's go get. Real 
Struggle. <laughs> Filipino lobster. <laughs> Canadian has Filipino lobster. The cleanest river in the Philippines? Ugh. And it also has the craziest Filipino scorpion crabs. Look at that lobster. Up here, nice and like, that's sweet, man. Awesome. Yeah, it is bigger, look at that. So with these Usan crabs, this is cool. If they turn silver, it means they're getting older. So you can see this one, check them out. He is looking silver. And then this one's red, which means it's a younger one, more fresh there. But I still can't believe it. They're like scorpion lobster crabs, only here, Kenaraya Ilongo style. Okay, I'm kind of scared to hold them. I don't hold them anymore. <laughs> it's gonna attack me again. <laughs>